hard to believe that it's been 12 months now of exploring the oceans with this team. We set out to try to find a new way to be inspired by this planet. We found it. A part of our world few get to experience firsthand. We were ready to go. We had a flight to catch at noon. And the offer came up to go over to Cerrito, have an aerial view of Raja Ampat, take some photos, soak it in from a different perspective one last time. We were there with the rest of the crew and we were watching the plane just buzzing around the island. I was really happy for Scott, you know, like, I, I just know how passionate he is about planes and about being up in the air, and I just know that it would just make his week. This flight was going to absolutely make his week. We could just see it out to sea, and it was quite a long way away, and it was just circling. And it was just getting lower and lower to the water, but no real cause for alarm. raced out to the end of the pier. There was a boat out there. We just grabbed the first person we could find. He didn't even see the plane crash. He didn't know what we were even talking about. We just grabbed him and basically dragged him into the boat and just said, drive. The, uh, huh? the aircraft that Scott was in, uh, they, uh, they got a little too close, I guess, to the, uh, to the surface of the water and lost airspeed and uh, went down. <laughs> Scared the out of me. We landed on the end of the jetty. We start running up the jetty. We saw Max first, and then Scott was there. And I just, oh, I just looked at him, and he just looked. He looked awful. I hope Scott is not too bad, too angry at me because uh, <laughs> I caused him a few scratches on his nose. <laughs> well, but we are still alive. It was just impact and water everywhere, and everything after that happens in split, split seconds. You know, there was the first split second of like we've crashed. And as I was popping out of the water, Max was already right there. You know, Max was looking at me and he's like, are you okay, are you okay? And I'm looking at myself kind of in disbelief thinking, yeah, I'm okay. Okay, thanks for the flight anyway. <laughs> they no, say I mean, uh, a landing you can walk away from is still a good landing. <laughs> I kind of know a little bit how these guys in the P-47 felt a little bit now, you know?